In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. On this the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, we honor and worship our God, who has revealed himself as a community of sacrificial love. For the times that we have failed to sacrifice for those in our community of family, friends, and beyond, we trust in the Lord's infinite mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have, have mercy. mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us praise God together. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in the highest, and on, and on earth peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless, bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord our God, God, Heavenly King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord our God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are, you are seated, seated at, at the right, right hand of the Father. Father. Have, Have mercy on us. <laughs> For you alone are the Holy One. You, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of God as it is proclaimed to us. A reading from the book of De Deuteronomy. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Ask now about former ages, long before your own, ever since the day that God created man on the earth, ask from one end of heaven to the other. Has anything so great as this ever happened, or has its like ever been heard of? Has any people ever heard the voice of a God speaking out of a fire, as you have heard and lived? Or has any God ever attempted to go and take a nation for himself from the midst of another nation by trials, by signs and wonders, by war, by a mighty hand and an outstretched arm, and by terrifying displays of power, as the Lord your God did for you in Egypt before your very eyes? So acknowledge today and take to heart that the Lord is God in heaven above and on the earth beneath, there is no other. Keep his statutes and his commandments, which I am commanding you today for your own well-being and that of your descendants after you, so that you may long remain in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for all time. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please sing with us. the word of 
of the Lord the heavens were made, and all their hosts by the breath of his mouth. For he spoke and it came to be, he commanded and it stood firm. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons and daughters of God. For you did not receive a spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you received a spirit of adoption to sonship. When we cry, Abba, Father, it is that very Spirit bearing witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ, if in fact we suffer with Him, so that we may also be glorified with Him. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Hallelujah. Speak, Lord, we are listening. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything that I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to you Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Today we celebrate a special feast day, the Solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. It seems somewhat difficult to get excited about this great feast, though. Part of the reason is that there isn't much, as much drama with this feast as there is with Christmas or with Easter. Both of those stories make for great Hollywood scripts. Christmas is about the miraculous story of a young maiden who gives birth to the Son of God. To greet his entry into the world are furry and smelly farm animals. And then the three kings from out of the east bring him gold and frankincense and myrrh after following a moving star kind of like a holy GPS. Even with Easter, the Triduum begins on Holy Thursday and the story is one of friendship and of betrayal, of the most gruesome of deaths. And just when you think the main character is dead and gone and evil has triumphed, he rises from the dead and shows that nothing can subdue him for he is God. Those stories are made for movies and they are such great stories. But what about the doctrine of the Most Holy Trinity? What is that all about? Actually, this solemnity of the Holy Trinity encapsulates all the feasts that we celebrate. Christmas, Easter, Pentecost, all of these are rooted in the Trinity and reveal something about this God of ours. It not only reveals who God is, it reveals and teaches the inner life of God, that God is a Trinity, a community of persons. And the doctrine of the Trinity reveals information about who we are at our deepest levels. One of the simplest gestures that acknowledges that our God is a Trinity is the sign of the cross that we make so often. There are two things that this gesture reveals, who our God is, that he is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and what our God is about, the cross, sacrificial love. There is what is called the mathematics of Trinity. The mathematics of Trinity tells us that one plus one plus one equals one. As odd as that sounds, there is only one God, yet God is three persons in that one God, and each of them is God. The Son is God, the Holy Spirit is God, the Father is God. One plus one plus one makes one. It's a statement 
that is frustrating because it cannot be processed by our brains. And yet the scriptures today reveal that it is true. Matthew tells us that after Jesus rose from the dead, the disciples worshipped him. They doubted, but still they worshipped him. Who is to be worshipped? But God. The gospel is testifying to us that Jesus then is God. And as God, Jesus makes a commandment to go out and to baptize, not just in his name, but in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. What we do and what we believe comes to us from the scriptures and we uphold its traditions, even if we don't understand everything it contains. Jesus himself tells us today that God is Trinity. Even though it is true, it's very difficult for us to pierce into it and to understand it. St. Augustine, one of the sharpest minds ever who wrote 15 books on the Trinity, still he couldn't wrap his mind around this doctrine. There's a cute little story that he was walking on the beach contemplating the mystery of the Trinity. As he was walking along, he saw a boy in front of him who had dug a hole in the sand and was going out to the sea again and again, each time bringing some water to pour into the hole. St. Augustine asked him, what are you doing? The boy answered, I'm going to pour the entire ocean into this little hole. In disbelief, St. Augustine responded, well, that is impossible. The whole ocean will not fit into the tiny little hole that you have made. And the boy wisely replied, it would be easier for me to fit the entire ocean into this tiny little hole than for you to fit God, the Trinity, into your tiny little brain. As cute and quaint as this story might be, it doesn't mean that we give up even trying to know God. We might have to tackle this indirectly, perhaps with the use of images. St. Patrick famously preached about God as Trinity to the people of Ireland years ago. He used the three-leaf clover, three leaves, one stem. St. Ignatius of Loyola had been trying to wrap his mind around the mystery, three persons, one God. While sitting outside a monastery, he heard someone playing an organ. Ignatius noticed how beautiful each note sounded on its own, but when played together in a chord, sounded even more beautiful that the notes were made for one another. Three notes, one chord. Like the Trinity, three persons, one God. Now each of these images will never fully explain the mystery of the inner life of God, but it helps us to understand that there are things that exist in nature that reflect God in some way. These can help us at least to enter into the mystery more deeply. Finally, there are implications for how we view ourselves too. You have heard, no doubt, that we are created in the image and likeness of God. Well, if God is a community of persons united, united in love, then the answer to the question, who am I, becomes clearer. We often think of God as an individual when we pray. I am an individual, and so is God, and we communicate one to one. But God is not one person. He's not the old grandfather-like figure in heaven sitting in a cloud surrounded by angels. This is a false image of God. God is three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And yet one, one united community in an inseparable relationship. We are most godlike when we imitate God, when we love others, and others love us too. When we love those around us and live as one community. Our lives are lived like a composition of music, when one of us loves, a beautiful note rises to heaven. When two or three of us love, a beautiful chord rises to heaven. But when we all love, a great symphony of the most beautiful music fills the ear of our God. Let us pray then that the Most Holy Trinity will inspire us and lead us to be more faithful and more loving. And we ask this of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in and Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. 
On the, On the third, third day, day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Father, one God in three persons, so filled with your love, we confidently ask you to hear and answer our prayers. For the Holy Church of God, revealed through the Trinity, never let us forget the salvation you have given us. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all men and women may come to know the presence and the goodness of the one Lord in their lives. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, may be united in love and service, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the infirm, separated from their parish communities who join us today, that this Mass celebrated for them will bring comfort and joy, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us take a few moments and offer our own petitions. We pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord God, you have shown yourself to us as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We pray knowing that all goodness and truth is in you through Jesus, your Son, who lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Having listened to God's word, let us celebrate his supper in joy and thanksgiving. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me from my sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise and glory of his name, name for, for our, our good, good and the good of all his holy, holy church. church. <laughs> Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make us, make of us an eternal offering to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord, not in the unity of a single person, but in a trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. With the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, 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 hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy will, will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, for the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us take a moment now to enter into our hearts and to offer peace to someone who we need to offer peace to. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.
Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Good morning and thank you for celebrating with us this morning. A special word of thanks to Father Frank Portelli. Father Frank is the director of the Office of Catholic Youth for the Archdiocese of Toronto. I thank you as well, our television community, for your many letters of support and your financial support that makes the Mass possible every week. We're now, I believe, in our 32nd or 33rd year of being with you on Sunday morning, and it's all because of your support your prayers, and your financial support. Until next week at this time, rest assured of our prayers and please keep us in yours. Till next Sunday, God bless.